once you're a parent, it is, I think it forms your identity. That's, 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 that's who you are. Um, so you're no longer, you know, a, school, uh, a married woman who's a school teacher or a married guy who's a school teacher or a public servant or whatever, or you're no longer, you, you are a mother or a father first of all. Uh, that's my feeling and um, it's like it becomes like the core of who you are so you and you assume that you're doing you know a pretty good job of it um, and to think that it wasn't enough and what you did wasn't enough as a parent is just yeah it it takes away your total self-esteem um so it takes you to the lowest point i think you could ever imagine because um you obviously didn't do what you should have done um and then there's that because of the the trauma i think of of the whole thing there's that inability to feel so all you can feel is grief and you can't remember feeling love. You can't, it's like, and so you're trying to conjure up that, how you felt about your children and all you feel is blank and numb. So then that just, so that, that just compounds the guilt. So you think, well, and then you question, and this is one of my questions always, well, maybe I didn't love him. Did I not love my children? Did I not know how to love? And I would say that to people and they'd just look at me and they'd say, that that is ridiculous. We know you loved your kids, but it doesn't matter what anyone tells you. It, it makes absolutely no difference what anyone tells you. You just think that you didn't love them. And so it's not just the one you lost, it's the others. And then that, that just continues on. Um, and you question when they have an issue with anything. You think, oh, is that is that because I didn't love them enough? Did I not know how to love? Did I? And it takes, I don't know, sometimes there'll just be, some, every now and then something will happen and you think, oh, I did love them. And so there's some sort of revelation. Just recently, actually, I was going through all um, cards and things that um, I'd kept in piles and piles of birthday cards and all that sort of stuff and um, and going through the ones that I wanted to keep and the ones that I would just sort of um, throw out. And I came across our 50th birthday card. So my husband and I have our birthdays um, close together. And on this 50th birthday card, all the family had put in and people had written different little notes. And then there was a note in there from Luke. And it said something like, um, Thanks, Mum and Dad, for being the best parents I could ever wish to have. And I went, oh, my God. So he thought we were the best parents. And it was just this huge feeling of relief and yeah I can't begin to tell you how good that felt and you actually felt the love and then you knew that he that was that he knew he was loved and it was just one of those things I just picked up and read and I thought oh thank god you know um so little things like that can happen that actually can transport you into a better place and you yeah doesn't mean it lasts and it doesn't mean it stays that way because then other things will happen and you're taken back into a a dark space again and then you have to really I mean almost I should frame I should cut that out and frame it so I can go and look at it every now and then because that that is just a huge aspect of it for me is that ability to feel the love I felt for my children and um and to want to want to know that they knew they were loved is um is a yearning for me and so to to find that um was very special 
Um, so it was a good idea that I hadn't thrown out all those cards. 